Okay, we should be back, I think. I think we're back. Connected. Channel switched. Uh, Jeff, you're back. Okay, good. We are back. I uh, wasn't sure that it looked like we're back. Uh, that must be my internet just uh, took a blink there for a moment, I guess. Yeah, internet must have suddenly decided it didn't like me anymore for a moment. Actually, not uh, too bad everything yet. All things considered, I'm not going to complain too much about that, I guess, because the internet has been working pretty good here the last... Uh, Last uh, few weeks. Okay, what did I get wrong here? Why why are these lights on the left side not working? Uh, I just finished rotating the rear ones, by the way, so hopefully they're standing up now as opposed to laying down. Oh. Left turn signals. Yeah, it looks like it's mapped properly. <clears throat> Front left turn signals, yes, and then Front right, front right A little odd. <clears throat> uh, Arch uh, Anthem isn't uh, Arth Anthem in uh, ATS isn't bad, just underpowered. Uh, Sean, I'll have to stay as a quad track though. The fenders are made just for the quad track, unless you uh, change the fenders for tires and take the uh, quad track out. Uh, then you can have them. Oh, yeah, that is true there, Sean. Yes. Uh, and that's uh, something I'm probably going to plan on trying to do here as well. Index not found. Light. Brake light. Hmm. Okay. Oh, did I not, uh... Oh, yeah, I didn't take that out, did I? Okay, that's why. As Jeffrey said, so who needs brake lights? Just get rid of them. Okay, that takes care of that problem. And something wrong with the PTO, huh? I have to figure out what's up with that. Missing file name and data left. Failed to... Okay, so it's failing to open the XML left, huh? Oh, that's why. Duh. It's missing the uh, dot .xml in the end. That would do it every time. Okay, that should fix that. Also, what's wrong with this uh, PTO here? <clears throat> Why is the uh, PTO... Power takeoffs. PTO out to output back. Where is the PTO output back? I would assume it would be in the attach... Maybe it's not in the attacher joints. That might explain why it's... Uh, let's see what's here. That is probably why. There's no PTO back here, is there? Okay. Let's fix that here a minute, too, while we're fixing error messages. Uh, let's see. Once here. It must have been in a different folder here on the white. Or in a different spot on the white. Speaking of the white, that reminds me. If we get a chance here today, I want to see if I can fix the uh, hands on that yet. Yeah, still didn't get to that. I wanted to fix it yesterday. I never got to it. But, uh, oh, let's see. I want here. Or PTO. PTO output back. Yep. Yeah. File. Export. And we'll import that over here.
We'll maybe just stick that on the uh, attacher joints here. And get that in the right spot. Uh, it looks pretty damn close to me. Okay, we'll call that good. Save that again, and we're also going to have to re-3D map that here again, too, because uh, I added something else to the i3D. Okay, there we go. Save it. Let's see if that uh, fixed most of the error messages here. It's not going to fix all of them because we don't have like shop images, stuff like that yet, but hey, there we go. Now we got the lights. Those are rotated up the right way. Good. Actually, I didn't check. Were there any error messages? <laughs> like the PTO one yet? Uh, cannot load index not found player skin. What? I cannot find the player skin. That's weird. And exhaust particle node. Okay, right. And not found brake light. I deleted that out. Why can it not? Is there more brake stuff here yet? Did I forget? Light sounds, real lights? No, that shouldn't be complaining about that. That's gone. Oh, that might be from before. That might be why. Okay, no, I think we're good. Ah, flashes work. Okay, cool. I was thinking there might have to be some more code for that yet, but nope. Looks like they're all working to me. Wait. Right ones work. Those work. Cool. And then I'm assuming all the other lights work yet. I think we're looking pretty good. Except for the uh, minor details on the, uh, the, the wheels there. Minor details. Okay, let's call that good. I'm happy with that. Lights are fixed. I think we should be good with the lights then. So it looks like I can get rid of that. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. Uh, now, I was complaining about the player skin. I never did set that up, so I suppose we should check that. I wonder if that was in the cab portion. I might have deleted that out, too, on the white. Uh, again, we're using the white as the base i3D file for this, so... Oh, let's see what's here. Where is the uh, player skin? Like I said, that was might have been... That was probably in the cab portion, I bet, on the white. Let's go get that back here a minute then.
Alright, let's see what's your body. Cab. Ah, uh, yes, player rotate. And foot, yep, okay, so we, we need that. And we'll import that here, player. We put it pretty close to the same spot. Looks like we just need to maybe raise it up a little bit. Maybe put it back just a little bit. Yeah, something like that maybe. And let's see once here. Maybe we'll actually see once where that is first before I adjust it anymore. Let's uh, move that up into... Up into the cab part here. And then we're here too, steering, steering wheel, players. Yes, where's the hands going? Actually, doesn't look like that's too far off. Yeah, that actually looks fairly close. Maybe before I uh, move that at all, I should maybe see what's where it's at. Oh, uh, which I closed the game already, didn't I? Okay. Let's uh, save this. We're going to have to re-3D map it here again. Seems like we're doing that a lot, but... There we go. Again, beauty of uh, 3D mapping here. I shouldn't have to fix anything in the code here as far as like the player goes. The, the player hands and the player feet and stuff. It should all be referenced in here. It's just a matter of updating the i3D mapping, which, uh, where is the player? Uh, right here, yeah, here's the character notes. A player skin. Is there a player? I don't remember seeing player skin. Player root? Is there, is there something else I missed here? Where was the player skin? Yeah, I don't see that linked down there. I might be missing something else yet. Guess I'll find out. Uh, Jeffrey, when you went offline, I had to check my modem to see if it reset itself. Ah, uh, paranoid, I tell you. Uh, have you had any problems since uh, changing it? Uh, yeah, where's the uh, character note? Player skin. Go back and check the white here again a moment. White. Nope, not one. Ah, sounds like that was probably the modem. That was a fault there then, Jeffrey, from the sounds of it. I mean, if you replace the modem and suddenly the problem's gone away... Player skin... Is there a player skin in here? There is. Which is 0745. Ah, player skin, huh? Okay. I thought that usually stayed in the player root. Okay, well, you think what I'm going to do here, just to maybe make this uh, a little simpler, at least it seems like it should work to me. We'll just uh, replace the player skin here with the player rut. Let's see why this won't work. Uh, Jeffrey, while you're in the white tent, uh, tent, nope, nope. 
See, already already closed it. Already closed it. Oh, uh, okay. I can't do can't do the tent anymore. Shame we already closed it there. Yeah. Let's see once if that'll work. Uh, Jimmy, do you like the looks of the custom modding John Deere 4940 sprayer with Goodyear tires and Titan tires? Oh, uh, Jeff, you don't have the uh, custom modding? I don't know if I do either, now that I think about it. Uh, Jeffrey, darn, I was too late. Ah, yeah, it's too late. Too late there, Jeffrey. Okay. Any error messages? Uh, oh, exhaust. I didn't fix the exhaust yet. Okay. You know what, let's uh, let's fix that here a minute. Yeah, we need some exhaust particles. Uh, Jamie, you want to see a post on a uh, Facebook page about that? Uh, oh. And we'll just uh, import that in here, and oh, we're going to have to re-3D map it again. What you get for uh, deleting too much stuff out, apparently. So, let's see what's wants here. Body. Front hood. Where the exhaust is. Yeah, exhaust is part of the front hood, so we'll just uh, drop that under there, I guess. And then we just need to get this in about the right spot. Well, that's way off. Way, way off. Getting warmer. Okay. Looks like that's pretty good to me. Uh, Jimmy, the Goodyear tires look bad to the bone on the John Deere 45. Oh, they do, huh? Uh, Jeffrey, tune the oh, tune tune the pump up on this tractor. <laughs> Ah, right. That's actually uh, controlled by the XML here. And I don't exactly know how some of this works, but you got the exhaust effect here. Uh, shared exhaust. Is there different exhaust ones? Because it's shared exhaust, so... I've never uh, looked in here, actually, desktop. Get a folder, shared. So it's shared exhaust... Wait a minute. Uh, oh, da oh, particle systems. Oh, okay. Data particle systems. Shared. Exhaust. Horse step faster particle. Horse water fan. No, okay, that's the only exhaust one there is, huh?
I'm just curious as to what's in here at this point. That's, uh, that's, that's your exhaust, I guess. Yep. Okay. Cool. Sure. <laughs> Too bad they don't have a couple different ones to choose from, but. Uh, custom tech FX clouds 01 diffuse. But yeah, anyway, you can uh, change uh, max RPM color. You can change the color. I'm not sure what the point four here does. So minimum RPM color, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.1. 0 0.9, point, uh, okay. So I'm, I'm thinking 0 0.9, that'd be fairly white. You could probably set it to like 0 0.6, I would assume would be darker. I would assume that'd be how that worked. Might have to play with that a little bit. Anyway, we got that in there. Let's uh, save that. Let's uh, re-export the i3D mapping. Copy that to clipboard again. Okay. Any error messages? Uh, let's see what's here offers. Yeah, well, that's fine. That's because we got the extra lights in there. Looks like we got rid of all the error messages. Good. Actually, let's put the, put the tracks on it so it actually looks right. Uh, oops. Exhaust is pointing the wrong way. <laughs> okay. I uh, better fix that. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking it was the blue one. Which, uh, which way is it pointing here, then? Let's see. Once here, hood. Exhaust. It is doing the green one. Okay, that's fine. We just point the green one up here, then. Yeah, that should do it. Save it. Oh, poor guy's hands in there. Oh my goodness, that looks painful. Just painful. His feet are sitting on the floor pretty good. I mean, they're not on the pedals, but they're sitting on the floor pretty good. Looks like we can raise them up off the seat and push them back just a little bit, I think. Okay. That's the uh, fun part where we need to adjust this a little bit. I don't know if there's a better way to adjust this or not, because I don't know that you can rightly, like, grab a uh, character reference and stick them in here, so it's just pretty much uh, play with it as far as I know. Because that's, that's the only way I know how to do it. So we're going to bring them back just a little bit. Bring them up just a little bit. Let's see what's how that looks. Okay, and we'll buy another one. I don't think we have to reload the game for this change to take effect. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that looks like he's... Uh, maybe we can raise him up just a little more yet. Looks like he's uh, sitting in the seat a lot better here. If I remember correctly, I think with the white... Then we have a problem with the white with the seat being too small. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that was a different tractor. I don't remember what... One we did now, the seat was like too small. I had to remodel it slightly, but uh, no, seat is definitely plenty big on this one here. No problems there, that's for sure. So yeah, looks like we need to raise them up just a little bit more, maybe, and see if we can get those poor hands to me. <laughs> yeah, that just looks painful. 
Painful. Okay, we'll raise that up. Just a smidge. And then steering wheel. Player hand target. We need to rotate that maybe. So if I do 90 on that one, will that help? Negative 90 on that one. So negative 90 on that one too. At least that's what it looks like looking at it there. Okay, save this and buy a new one. Uh, Jimmy, you should uh, turn up the uh, power like the uh, big bud. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see how this looks. I need to do this with a white here yet, too, is get the hands in the right spot. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, that one, the, the one, the one on this side actually doesn't look quite as bad. The one there, I think I need to go the other way, didn't I? This one I went negative 90. Let's try positive 90. And then... Maybe go back in the seat just a little bit more. I think he's too close to the wheel. I think that's the problem here. Just a little bit. And his hand actually needs to go on the wheel more. Okay. Try that. Save. That's pretty much the only way I know to do it. I'm going to just play with it. I don't know if there's a better way or not, but... Okay, that hand don't look too bad. Yeah, no, I, I think we can maybe we can maybe turn it just a little bit so it doesn't look quite so crooked. <laughs> but no, he's he's actually got his hands on it pretty good, I would say. Now the one on this side needs to be well. One on that side maybe needs to be raised up a little bit, don't it? A little bit closer to the wheel. The one on this side looks really good. Let's see, if we look at it in like a properly done tractor here. Yeah, so he's got his hand at like properly on the wheel. I'm not sure how to achieve that here because of the angle of this wheel. I don't know if he can. That looks pretty good to me though. I'm good with that. Like I said, we'll just uh, tweak the uh, tweak this side here a little bit. Move it up just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to call that good for the player. We'll leave it at that. Uh, now, a couple things we need to do yet. We need to shave off these uh, axles yet. Uh, I need to do something with that. So should we work on... Uh, or should we go to the wipers next? Hmm. Then we'll go to the wipers next. Let's we'll see if we can get the wipers to work. This might be uh, a bit of fun. No idea. Okay, so four wipers. Let's uh, see what's here. We don't need any of that stuff. I can get rid of that. Exhaust, we're done with that. Let's go look at some in-game stuff. Like I said, never done wipers before, so this will be completely new to me. I've seen the code before, but... And let's see. We're going to actually want the probably the XML here as well. Let's see, so where do we find wiper code? Suspension, drivable, fill, dashboard, attachers, moving parts. There's probably some moving parts here for the 
No, no moving parts for the uh, wipers. Okay. Uh, animations. Ah, uh, there's animations for the wipers. Okay. Uh, start time, end time. Start, rotate, end, rotate. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, here's the wipers. Okay. Wipers front animation. Wipers back. Now, is that because there's three of these? Uh, Jimmy, so it can pull the uh, big seed hawk and the Bergolt. Yeah, I don't know that you're going to be pulling that with this uh, tractor. Uh, Wind Farm, you mentioned uh, yesterday about modeling some equipment like a... Uh, I don't know that I ever mentioned a 33-foot 33, 33 sunflower chisel plow, but uh, yeah, I would like to see some of that stuff, yes. Problem is finding models for that stuff, though. Not sure how hard it would be to actually 3D model one from scratch, though, but uh, a thousand, yeah, nah, not, not going to happen. I don't know how much horsepower a, a uh, this has, but it's going to have whatever it says it's supposed to have, or real close to it. Anyway, let's grab the wiper code here. I'm going to paste that in. Where does this have to go? Doesn't matter, does it? It's right above the AI collision trigger. Well, we can do that same thing here. Right above the AI collision trigger, eh? And then we need the animation code. Okay. And we don't have any of that, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, wiper animation, front animation, wiper back animation. Is there... How many wipers are on this tractor? Got the one there. Got one there. Do we not have a side one? Nope, don't have a side one. What's going to be fun about this one here is it does have... Uh, got uh, four of them on, I think, the 380. 9380. Uh, let's see what's here. Wiper animation. Let's uh, see what's what we got for code here. Or for uh, references. Nothing. I mean, there's somewhere. Yeah, there we go. What cabin wiper is zero seven zero nineteen? Okay, zero seven seven. Zero seven. What? Uh, zero seven zero. I don't know what we'll say what. Zero seven zero nineteen. Component joint. There's nothing under that. That doesn't make sense. Zero seven zero nineteen. Am I? Oh, that's not the right one. Okay, that's why. That would help if I would look at the right. There we go. Uh, zero eight six. Ah ha. Zero eight six. Wipers. Wiper front. Rotate. Arm um, two rotate. Now, in our case, we only got the one, so that should be good. Front. I might just uh, grab this, I'm thinking. We'll just grab this whole wiper section here file. Export. Wipers. I'll borrow that. Let's see what we can figure out here. Uh, when Farmer, I was thinking about uh, doing the modeling. I have one to use as a reference. Oh, if you want to do that there, Wind Farm. Uh, yeah, if you want to do the model, I'll uh, I'll do my best to make it in-game. That's uh, definitely something, if you ask me, we need in the game here at this point is some good American 
cultivators, chisel plows, uh, tillage equipment, planters. Uh, yes. I mean, we got some decent planters. We got a DB60, we got a DB90, we got a DB120. But it'd be nice to see some smaller ones in there. Some different flavors in there, maybe. You know, that type of thing. Uh, Sergeant Upload, make a John Deere 2020. A John Deere 2020. Well, I have a 2520. I don't know how much the difference a 2020 is from a 2520, but... Okay. Get out of the wipers. File. Import. Wipers. And we'll move that up into the uh, cab part here. Uh, Sergeant, like the new tractor? Yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Hey, wipers. Yeah, this should be a bit of fun here. I'm no expert here, but that wiper arm does not look like it's going to clear <laughs> the bottom here. That's That looks like that might be a bit of a problem. Oh, well, anyway, we'll cross that when we get to it, I guess. Uh, anyway, you know what? I'm going to grab all the wipers, I guess. Let's drop them all into, uh, into here. The wiper arms front. Yeah, maybe that's not going to work as nice as I would have thought. Let's, uh... Leave that out. Wiper arms front. Uh, let's create a couple transforms here. Or just create one for now. Cut it up into there. Yeah, there we go. Arms front. So we're just going to move that somewhere close to where these are, I think. Uh, Turkish Cowboy just using Giants Editor? Uh, for what? I mean, if you're making mods, you have to use Giants Editor. <laughs> that's, that's not, uh, not like an option, you know? I mean, if you're going to be making a model, you want to use probably like Blender, Maya, or what, uh, I believe, uh, Wind Farm is using, uh, Fusion 360. You can do that too, I guess. Actually, probably a good idea when you're making something like that, use, yeah, use like an actual Fusion 360, then you can actually measure stuff, get stuff right. That make a lot of sense. Okay. So I'm going to name this the uh, front window wiper. Front. Let's see what's the front left. Actually, no, I could do a front. Do it front center. And this will be the front right. And then also I'm going to create a primitive cube. My favorite little trick for lining stuff up. Scale that down significantly. Something about like that. Then we'll cut it and paste it up into, sure, let's do the cent, start with the center one here, I guess. That cube is going to be entirely too big yet. Oh, wait, nope. Open the wrong one here. Need to move the transform out, not the cube. Uh, again, this uh, little cube trick, as I like to call it, just helps me uh, locate this transform where I want it.
Trying to get that right on the center of that there. That actually looks pretty good right there. Okay. Uh, Jeffrey, is it easier to make wipers work in GE or real life? Ah, you know, that's a good question there, Jeffrey. That's a good question. I, we're about to find out. Hey, that, actually, now that you mentioned that, that's right, Jeffrey. I did put wipers on my John Deere 2510. That actually wasn't uh, really too hard of a job. Just, you know, a little wiper kit there. And that actually went pretty nicely, I thought. Actually made use of them, uh, pretty good use of them that one day there, too. I was out in the uh, rain, so. Or was it, yeah, kind of rain, sleety snow that was coming down. Worked out pretty good. Okay, so wiper arm one. I'm going to move that up into here. And let's do, we're going to freeze the transform on this. Edit, freeze, transform. I want to, well, what, um, let's see what's here. Now, if I leave it at zero, that should be fine. I just want to freeze the translate, I think. Uh, 215 uh, Sniper, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the stream. I wonder if these are all the same. I bet they are. Bet they are. So if I do one, I can copy this over to the other ones. Hmm. Wait, no. Again, work smarter, not harder. Okay, we're going to want to create another transform here. Cut this up into this one. Making this up as I go, everyone. So if this doesn't look like I'm doing it right, I have no idea. I might not be doing it right. This is just what makes sense to me. Uh, that seems to center wiper. I'm going to put that under the wiper arm. And then this, let me copy the cube here as well. I'm going to paste it in there. This is going to go down to there. And we're going to create a pivot point on there, hopefully. At least that's going to be the idea. Oh, shoot. Moving the cube again. Got to move the transform with the cube in it, not the cube. Which, well, moving the transform with the cube in it will move the cube. Okay, looks pretty close. That cube is smaller, so I can get a little bit more precise, hopefully. I think we're pretty good, but... Well, that's going to be hard to tell, isn't it? We might just have to call that good. We'll call that good right there. Yeah. Uh, let's put the rotate back to zero on that. There we go. Looks like that's lined up. Oh, 215. Can you design a 2000 Chevy Silverado? Ugh, who would want that? 
Uh, Jeffrey, it would be very hard for him to mod a Chevy. He drive well, we're wrong. No, no, I drive the right truck. We don't, we don't drive any of that, uh, that Chevy rubbish. <clears throat> okay, center wiper. And let's put the wiper arm on there. And we'll freeze the transform on that. Edit, freeze, transform. Apply that. Yeah. I'm thinking that's how that's uh, going to uh, work, I think. I think what we should probably do is test this out here first before I uh, take the time to uh, do all the rest of them and figure out, well, this one didn't work, so... <laughs> and, and if I get this one to work, I could probably just copy it over to the other windows. My only concern here, everyone, is... Now, I'm not exactly... Um, Real good with eyeballing this, but uh, this wiper arm looks like when it swings down is not going to clear the bottom here. So, oh, I think that wiper arm is too long. I'm not the one that modeled that, so oh, yeah, let's turn off these lights. No oh, lights, that's enough of that. Uh, looking at all the lights all the time, that's annoying. Uh, let's see once here. Oh, did I close? I guess I closed the XML, didn't I? Eight. And, and uh, yeah, I got to say, too, for all the uh, modders that sit there doing them trucks, too, I'm like, uh, hey, we, we, uh, Randy can go on a rant about uh, the modders making them stupid trucks. Randy can go on a real good rant about that. So rotate, zero, zero. Uh, start, rotate. I don't need this because I don't have two wiper arms. I just got the one. Start, rotate. Oh, okay. So, okay. Wait, uh, start time. It starts at zero, zero. Goes to that. And then from that, it goes back to... That doesn't quite go back to the start, does it? That's interesting. Okay. Oh, I has two of them in there then. I wonder if I can get away with one. I'm going to start rotate at zero, zero. And if I end the rotate, I should be able to only rotate one axis, I think. Because if I rotate, this will be on Z. Oh, that might just clear down there. It'll be close. Yeah, it looks like about, if I rotate about 75, that looks like that's a pretty good distance there. So I'm going to do 0, 0, and we're going to do a rotate to 75. Was that negative? I forgot to look at that. 0, 0.0. 0. Was that in the negative direction? Yes, it was. Okay. And wiper front. Let's see what's here. If we uh, rotate this one to 75, what do we got to have this one rotated to then? Be 75. Okay, that, that would make sense. If I would have thought about that, I would have realized that. We're rotating 75 one arm. The other one swinging over had to rotate 75 too. Makes perfect sense. Comprende. Yeah. Uh, Jeffrey, the wiper is supposed to stay straight up and down when in motion. It, it is? Well, who says? Says who? I'm going to comment this part out for now. Wiper front animation. 
Um, let's see what's here. I'm going to just have the one, I guess. Comment that one out here as well. Wiper front animation. So yeah, the wiper, it runs the wiper front animation, which is that there, which runs this, which should run that one. End time point three. Uh, we'll find out. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Edward, I thought they were supposed to smack you in the face. Oh, wait, you uh, got a windshield. Never mind. <laughs> I, the windshield, well, there's no visual windshield in here at the moment. Actually, that's a good question. I didn't look as it, well, no, it, it should have rotated across evenly across that windshield, I, I would think. I guess maybe I'll have to check that. I mean, I think I got this set right, I think. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but anyway, we got... My animation nodes are going to be that. And that one. Okay. I think we're good. Let's let's try and see if this will work. I'm going to have to figure out how you can make it rain in the game. I think there's a line of code for that. I think. So I'll save this. Let's export the i3D mappings here again. Oh, no. Welcome to the stream, by the way there, Edward. Copy to clipboard. Uh, it should be GS set weather rain. That sounds right, I think. Yes. Otherwise, how else do you test this? Because, I mean, it's got to rain, uh, right? Because I don't think you can uh, test. Well, there might be a way to get it to animate without having to have rain, I think. Not sure. We'll, we'll see if we can get it to rain here. Uh, You know what? Actually, let me go back to this here. Back to the wiper here a minute. Animation speed, 75 speed. I don't know. I don't get why there's different states in here. Hmm. You know what? Maybe just for the fun of it, I'll throw it in and see what's what happens. This one only has one, so that's what I'm kind of curious about. Let's throw it in there. What's, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, X times fast forward, and that's a jillion, by the way. Oh boy. Yeah, that's true. You could uh, you could fast forward till it starts raining. That would be a bit annoying. Oh, you know what? Um, there's the advanced uh, developer controls, right? I don't have them loaded. I don't think I have them loaded in here, but that would create rain, right? Let's see if we get any air messages first. Let's let's start with that. Oh. <laughs> well, it must have done something because it's rotated funny. I don't see any air messages. I might yeah, I must have broke something because it's uh, it's sitting funny, but anyway, we, we can uh, we can correct that, I guess. Set no, I don't want to set daytime. Wiper state. Oh, what's this do? State zero equals use state from weather. Uh, so if I give it set one, huh? I do one. Hey, look at that! It worked. Sweet. Yes, yes, that's in the wrong orientation. Who cares about that? We'll f we'll fix that. I'm actually, not sure why it's in the wrong orientation. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Cool. It's working. I didn't completely break it. Now, why is it, uh, why are we slightly crooked here? Let's figure out what's going on with that. We're never having done wipers before, Evan. I'm, I'm pretty happy that it actually worked the first time here. Body cab wipers. Now, of course, we just got to do this for the rest of them. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's what I figured there, Edward. I think it's uh, something in here is not set to zero. I don't know which one. I thought this was all set to zero, but... Wipers front, there we go. Is this not zero? No, it's not. Uh-huh. Okay. You know what? I can fix that here. Let's edit. I did not realize that switched to negative 90. I thought that all stayed. Let's do that. Shouldn't break that. There we go. Zero. That should be zero now. That's that's what was happening, everyone. This one had negative 90 set to it. And then in my code here, uh, I had, you know, the rotation is being set to zero. So it was rotating it back 90 degrees. Uh, I did not realize that this uh, this piece here had negative 90 on it, or positive 90 on it, which caused this one to have negative 90 on it. Hopefully that makes sense. Except now I broke the location of that, didn't I? Okay. Well, let's uh, control Z that then. What we can do, we can pull this out. Uh, freeze the rotation. Okay. And then put it, put it back in. That should maintain. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's got to rotate a 90 on it, which we can fix that, I guess. Okay, now we should have it working, I think. I might have to reload the game here for this to take effect, but... Uh, the other option, too, I'm assuming, everyone, you could uh, set this to negative 90, whichever one it needed to be. You could set negative 90 there. That's probably something I should really figure out with Blender. I don't know why, but Blender always imports everything rotated 90 degrees. Doesn't really affect anything, except when you start doing stuff like this. <laughs> uh, just a little, uh, we could try that. That might, uh, G, oh, no, not GS. Oh, come on now, what's caps on? It is. Vehicle, vehicle reload. Oh, wait, don't, not be a call. Reload. And, oh, went past it. No. Uh, there's no GS vehicle reload? No, wait, is it vehicle reload? Which one is it here again? Nope. Eh, uh, well, let's just reload the game. Be quicker. Uh, Edward Giants back at it again, breaking our tool. I, I know, right? Yeah, which one the reload is again? And I've never really used it a whole lot. I usually just restart the game just to make sure, too. Okay, doesn't mean not like it takes long to restart the game. <clears throat> uh, that's true as well. There, I could, I could. Something that doesn't always work all the time, though, with some stuff. So, or I could just buy another one. That's another option. Uh, went from the alternator has a. F oh my goodness, the alternator has a fan on it too yet. How much stuff you expect me to animate here, Wind Farm? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to figure out all that out. <laughs> uh, let's see what's here. Hey, look at that—the wipers. Uh, wipers in the right spot now. It's not rotated funny. Yes. Uh, which one did I load here again? It was wiper. Uh, GS set. Wiper state. There we go. And was it one? A little fast. I think that's working pretty good. We can maybe go a little further than uh, 75. We could try 80, 85 maybe. Uh, Jeffrey, hyperspeed, uh, you, you want hyperspeed, Jeffrey? <laughs> I think it should, it should be a little slower, shouldn't it? Not much, but a little bit. Oh, 
125. Well, it's set at 75 at the moment. So I'm thinking uh, maybe 80, 85. We can go a little bit further. I mean, not that it's bad where it's at either. I mean, we, could, we could technically leave it. I don't think it'd matter, but... We go 80. And then end time. That maybe. I don't quite understand what the states here are for. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. I don't know, that actually looks pretty good about the same spot, speed as my Dodge Wipers at low speed. Well, seeing as how that's working, I think we need to uh, get that over to the other windows here then. Seeing how easy that actually was. That actually was uh, surprisingly easy. And, of course, probably for the other ones, we won't be able to uh, rotate them quite as far, but... Let's go to the quad track here. Let's pop this back open. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate this one and move it, because I think they're the same wiper arms across the front back side. We'll just uh, name them different, of course. Wipers front. Might even have the same angle to it, I wonder. Duplicate this. This will be the uh, left. And if we just uh, kind of rotate that over to there. Oh, it is angled slightly differently. I mean, I suppose if we wanted to do it right, we should probably set each one of these up, which we could do. It didn't take us that long to set that up, did it? Oh, just debating if I want to do it that way. Yeah, why don't we? Seems how that is different. Okay, well let's uh let's get this into the right position here then. Let me uh borrow our cube here. Control X, Control V. Pull that over to here. Kind of hard to see back behind her, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Now, the problem I'm going to have, I don't know if I'm in the right orientation. Actually, you know what? Uh, what I could do, I could push it back to here. I think that's going to be the right orientation. Uh, wind farm question on the frame, uh, fan shroud. Will you fill it on the sides to make of it? Uh, I could do that. Yes. Yep. I'll, I'll put something in there so it uh, blends in. Okay. There we go. That should be that one. And then is that two? Oh, that's going to be three. Yes, three. We'll drop three in there. And freeze the transform on that one. And since I learned from last time, we'll freeze the uh, translate and the rotate. There we go. Technically, I should probably animate this part of it here this time around, because that'd be a lot easier to do it at zero rather than doing that piece. Though I guess we could do that one too, it wouldn't really matter. 
Okay, and then I'm going to borrow the center wiper here. No, that's not what I wanted. Go. Slightly smaller wiper on this one, huh? Okay. Or actually, no, slightly larger wiper. I figured whoever would have made this model would have just made all the same wipers, but no, they did actually make them different. Okay. Good to know. Actually, pretty close. Uh, went from are the wipers going to be on more than one switch? No, no. Uh, you, you can't control the wipers at all in the game that I know of. Uh, the wipers are automatically controlled, so no control at all for the wipers. So instead of center wiper, this will be this will be the left wiper, and that's going to be number three. And we'll freeze the transform on this one. Edit, freeze, transform, eventually, and rotate. So, let's see what's there. If we rotate this one, that should rotate it. And it looks like about... Oh, boy, that's going to be a lot of numbers changing there, isn't it? That's actually, you know what? That's why we're going to use this one. We'll use that one, because that's at zero. So probably about a 65 degree rotate on that one. So we'll create the animation node for this. Copy that. Uh, wiper, we'll call that wiper left animation. Actually, what you could probably do... I could probably actually put it up under this one technically, couldn't I? I won't actually have to have separate animations for this. Ah, well, that's that's fine, I guess. Uh, Arch, when it rains, the wipers come on. Uh, only switch in the game. Yeah, that's, that's right there, Arch. There's, there's no... You can't control the wiper. You can't control the speed. But I can in the animations, obviously, but you can't in the game. So, hey, James. Welcome to the stream. It's going to be that one. And that's going to be, I think we said about 65 or so. Which should put this one at 65 as well. There we go. Like I said, technically, I could probably just grab these, put them up in there, and then animate that with that. But don't know if there's an advantage to doing it one way over the other. I don't know on that one. So, okay, let's uh, save that. Let's uh, save this. Let's re export the i3D map in here again, make sure this one's working. And it's probably about time to finish up the stream here for today, too. So I'll have to maybe finish this at another time. But get the other two uh, wipers working. So save that. Let's just uh, reload the game. Ah, James, doing good, doing good. You went shopping yesterday. Got you a... an air... Oh, an air fryer. Ooh, nice. Those are nice. Those are nice. Start. Uh, 
uh, Jeffrey, I would like to buy an air fryer also, but you like your artery block, artery blocker. <laughs> uh, boy. Okay, let's see. Will the wipers work? Yeah, they look, uh, don't look like they're, uh, facing some strange direction at the moment, so that's probably a good sign, right? Hey, wasn't there, uh... Okay, what happened to, uh, is it GS set that wiper state? There we go. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Ah, yes, thank you, yes. Couldn't remember, I was, I was thinking, wait a minute, wiper, no, it's set wiper. I think we can maybe go a little farther than 65, too. Uh, is it normal for the game to make you quit, uh, quit twice? Uh, no, that's a little odd. That, that seems really odd, in fact. Okay, well, anyway, on that note, everyone, I think with that, we're going to wrap this uh, live stream up here. We got the, uh, the wipers working. I'm pretty happy with that. That actually wasn't, uh, wasn't too bad. Oh, it stopped. Why'd they stop? I don't know. Work from in the cab. Oh, because I was out of the vehicle. That's probably why. So, yeah. Again, everyone, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Hopefully, we'll uh, live stream again here tonight. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do tonight. I guess we'll find out. So, again, everyone, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time.